So we're putting Cobb up here in between these uh, round pole rafters uh, because we wanted to have our rafters exposed on the inside of the house. Um, but we were faced with the problem of how to insulate the ceiling while still leaving the round pole rafters exposed. So we have decided to insulate using uh, insulation on top of the roof, but then we needed a way to close up these little bays and we uh, decided that Cobb would be the <laughs> best way to uh, fill in these gaps and be able to seal it off and still yeah, insulate it. So we're going with that. Okay. Like, like what? Do you think one of these would feel? Time to get into it a little bit. <laughs> shoulder just add more here and then it pushes yeah, off rather focus than on building up the edges okay like and the then inside thing. will naturally fill as you go okay there's an engineer in final falls who's signing off on yeah. 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 that way we can like get all the clay activated without dealing with the sand yet when we pour the sand in it'll just like go to the bottom so we'll put two clay and five sand. I'll start with that. We probably will need a lot more water. Is that all the sand in it? You could scale this up. So in that, those pictures I showed, I had like four elongated pits. They were like three bales long. And I can put ten batches of cob in this load. But they they do it. Yeah, I mean it's pretty 
you know, like four-year-olds can get into this. You basically just fill the cavities, and yeah, like getting the corners is kind of nice. Kind of feel when it get when it when it releases. Maybe a little too much jiggling, but <laughs> <laughs> pull pull up at the same time. Yeah. Nice. Story of my life. <laughs> 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 it's Jesus. Thank you. 